What if I told you Toyota just did what no other car company could? They've revealed a next-generation aluminum-ion battery that delivers a jaw-dropping 1,000-mile range and can fully charge in just 5 minutes. Let that sink in. No more range anxiety. No more waiting hours at charging stations. No more excuses. At a surprise press event in Tokyo, Toyota dropped a bombshell that stunned the entire EV industry. CEOs from Tesla, GM, and BYD were reportedly in the room, and the look on their faces was honestly speechless. Because this isn't just a step forward, it's a leap that may sideline lithium-ion entirely. It's fireproof, lighter, non-toxic, and doesn't rely on rare earths. This is the breakthrough the world has been waiting for. And it didn't come from Silicon Valley this time, it came from Japan. So, before this video dives into how Toyota pulled it off, and what it means for Tesla, for gas cars, and maybe even for oil itself, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications. This isn't just a story about electric cars, it's the start of a global energy war. And you're watching it unfold right now. They said lithium was the future. That solid state was the final frontier. But Toyota just broke the silence with a five-minute press event that left the EV world in total chaos. No teaser, no leaks, just raw specs on a screen. 1,000-mile range, full charge in five minutes, zero lithium, zero cobalt. At first, people thought it was a joke, a marketing stunt. But what Toyota showed wasn't concept art. It was a functioning aluminum ion prototype Backed by third-party validation, peak charging speed hit 200 kilowatts. Cycle life is over 10,000 full charges with less than 5% degradation. Thermal stability was tested up to 250 degrees Celsius without a single failure. Industry insiders scrambled. This wasn't a marginal improvement over Tesla's 4,680 cells. It was four times faster, lighter, and non-flammable. It didn't need cobalt. It didn't rely on lithium mines buried under political tension. It simply worked cleaner, safer, and infinitely more scalable. And the material behind it, aluminum, is not rare, not toxic, and not buried under monopolized territories. Aluminum is the third most abundant element on Earth. It's already mined, traded, and recycled globally. Toyota didn't just improve EV batteries, they detonated the entire supply chain map. Here's the shocker. The charge capacity isn't a theoretical dream. It's been field tested, lab tested, and fast tracked for mass production by late 2026. Toyota's internal roadmap now includes aluminum ion in at least eight vehicle platforms, and new patents suggest it may even scale to home energy and aviation. So, what makes this chemistry so different? Unlike lithium, where each ion carries a single charge, aluminum ions carry three electrons per ion. That's three times the electrical payload in the same space. Combined with a graphene-based cathode, these ions move at breakneck speed with minimal resistance. No overheating, no runaway. No need for cooling systems or massive buffer zones. And while lithium batteries degrade under stress, heat, fast charging, and deep discharge, aluminum ion cells don't care. Toyota's prototypes were frozen, then superheated, crushed, punctured, and short-circuited. Nothing exploded. Nothing vented gas. Not even a spark. That kind of stability isn't just safer, it's disruptive. You can mount these batteries under seats, inside doors, anywhere in the frame, with no fear of fire. For regulators, insurers, and fleet operators, that changes everything. But here's the twist. While the public marveled at the specs, insiders panicked over what wasn't said. Toyota didn't mention lithium, not once. No comparison, no backward compatibility. Just a cold, silent message to every automaker still betting on lithium-ion. You're now behind. Tesla, BYD, GM, even CATL were all caught off guard. Supply contracts, mining deals, and billion-dollar gigafactories were suddenly at risk because this new battery doesn't use the same playbook. It doesn't need lithium extraction from South America. It doesn't require cobalt from Congo. And it doesn't care about geopolitics. And the range wasn't marketing math. Toyota's prototype sedan completed 1,000 miles on a closed track using a single charge while carrying the equivalent payload of a Camry. No hypermiling, no stripped-down test car. It was a real-world drive with a real load and real speed. The implications are staggering. If mass-produced at scale, this would make current EVs obsolete in both cost and performance. Charging infrastructure would shrink. No more waiting 30 minutes highway rest stops would become 5-minute pit stops. 
just like gas. But it's not just the speed, it's the chemistry itself. Aluminum is fireproof, non-toxic, and recyclable at 96% efficiency. And it's not just the cars, the infrastructure itself is shifting. Gas station chains in Japan and California are reportedly considering 1 megawatt aluminum ion charging docks capable of fully charging a vehicle in less time than it takes to buy a coffee. No fumes, no fire hazards, just raw electricity delivered faster than ever imagined. This kind of transition doesn't dent oil, it guts it. Analysts now predict global petroleum demand could drop by 8 million barrels per day by 2035 if aluminum ion achieves scale. That's more than all of Canada's oil exports wiped out not by regulation, but by innovation. And that innovation isn't coming from Silicon Valley anymore. Inside Tesla, sources say Project Helix, an emergency aluminum cell R&D sprint was activated less than 24 hours after Toyota's reveal. Engineers are being moved off other projects to focus on battery chemistry full-time. The threat is real, and it's rising fast. Meanwhile, in China, CATL and BYD are scrambling to retain control of a supply chain they thought they owned. Aluminum cuts them out. It erases the leverage they built with lithium dominance. Their executives are in emergency sessions, pushing for patents and prototypes, anything that could slow Toyota's momentum. The U.S. Department of Energy, caught flat-footed, has reopened archived aluminum ion research from the early 2010 seconds research it quietly shelved in favor of lithium. Now, those dusty blueprints are being revisited under full light lockdown, and new patents are being filed at a record pace. It may be too late, but the tech race is no longer about who got there first. It's about who survives the shift. And in Japan, the reaction was even more telling. Media outlets dubbed Toyota's announcement the tech Pearl Harbor of the auto world, an ambush so precise and so disruptive, it instantly reshuffled alliances. Companies that once laughed off Toyota's slow EV adoption now crawled back to the table scrambling for licensing deals. Even Elon Musk, never one to play defense, tweeted just two words after the reveal. Didn't expect that. No context. No bravado. Just silence. And that's why the auto industry is calling this a game changer. What does a one zero kilometers range really mean? This is not just a number. It changes everything about how we think of cars. Right now, most EVs on the market have a range of 300 to 500 kilometers. That's good for city driving, but still stressful for long trips. If you're in the US, going from New York to Chicago or Los Angeles to San Francisco means stopping multiple times to recharge. But imagine an EV with a one zero kilometers range. In the US, you could drive from New York to Detroit or Dallas to Denver without stopping. In Europe, you could go from Paris to Rome or Berlin to Vienna on a single charge. In India, where the average driver travels only 40 to 50 kilometers a day, one charge could last you two to three weeks. That's massive convenience. No more worrying about finding charging stations every other day. Road trips become easy, and for the first time ever, EVs would actually outperform gasoline and diesel cars in range. 